Good day everyone, Mr. Cardiel here with the next AutoCAD video. Now for this video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a rectangle given the length of one side equaling area to a given square. Alright, so this rectangle here is the same area or has the same area as um, this square right here. And to do this, all you need is the square the length of, this, of one side of the square and one side of the rectangle. Alright, so let's get to it. It says that the first thing we're going to do is to draw a square of sides 50 millimeters and line BE, this line right here, which is one side of the rectangle. So they did, they, they did not give us the distance for, for BE, so we're going to make our own measurement for BE. We're going to make BE about 100 millimeters. Alright, so let's do that. So I'm going to select rectangle here. And the square for the square, all sides are 50, so I'm just going to click a place to start. And I'm going to type 50, comma, 50, enter. So 50, comma, 50, enter. And here we have our square. So now let me draw the this line here that would be line BE. And this is going to be 100 millimeters. All right, so there we have that. So let me just label this correctly. So this is E, this is B, so A, B, C, D, and then E. All right, so let's do that. So I'm gonna select text here. I'm gonna click the drop down arrow and select a multi-line text. I'm going to click a place to start, create a little rectangle. And I'm going to type A. Good, it's a bit small, so let's make it bigger. So I'm just going to click on it and type scale. And I can scale it up. I want it about twice the size, so I'm going to type 2 and press enter. If your A is smaller, you probably have to make it 10, 10 times the size. If it's really big, you can make it smaller by um, typing like 0 0.5 or 0 0.25 or whatever the case might be. So that's how you use the scale um, system. So I'm going to change the color also. So I'm going to click on that and select this color here. Alright, so now I'm going to move this and I am going to click on the A and select the move tool, move it from here, let me turn off ortho because when ortho is on I can only move things horizontally or vertically so let me turn it off. So now I can bring this here, so this is point A and then I can copy it from here and bring it to these points and then I can change the value as I go. Alright. So this is A, so this is B here. Sorry. This should be uppercase. We always use uppercase in our drawings. That is A, that is B, this is C. And then over here we have D. And this here is point E. Nice. So then it says that the next thing that we're supposed to do is to draw AE, this line here, AE, and bisect it perpendicularly. And it says the bisector, the bisector intersects BE at F. So this is what we're going to do. So right here, from this point here, we're going to draw a line from A to E. Alright. And then it says that we're supposed to bisect um, this line. Alright. So the center point would be here. Since we're using AutoCAD, we know where the center point would be. Alright. And then in objects not here, just ensure that you have perpendicular turned on. Let me see. Yeah, it's on. Alright, good. Alright, it would give us a perpendicular distance. <coughs> but I'm going to show you how we go about constructing it. Uh, not just by finding a midpoint or anything like that. So this is what we would do. I would select a circle and come right here. So if, if this was manual drawing, I would be using a compass. I would have my compass point here. And I would just open it to any um, convenient radius, radius, meaning that any radius that is greater than half the length of this line. So I'd put that circle here, my compass point here, and I would describe like an arc like this, which I'm going to do with this circle. Um, so I'm going to make the radius of the circle about 75, so 75, enter, and then I'm going to copy the circle from here, so I'm going to select the copy tool, 
from here and I'm going to copy the circle from the center and I'm going to bring that so right here at point E and then I'm going to press escape good so then I'm just going to draw a line from this point here where the two circles meet to this point down here where the two circles meet and there I have my line all right so these circles would be construction lines so I'm not going to delete them I'm just going to make them a bit um, darker so they're not as visible so there we go all right so now we have that line there and right here we have point f all right and then the next step says using f as center and radius fe draw a semicircle which meets bc at g so we would have our, our this would be the center for a circle and then this right here from f to e would be the radius of our circle so we're going to do that now all right so let me write this let me copy this from here bring it here and I'm going to make this point F nice all right so now I'm going to select a circle compass point will be here so the center of the circle is there and then the end of the circle is there good so now this point here would be point G let me just copy this and bring it to here and this right here is point G all right so again I'm just going to make this circle not as bright so that we don't get confused nice all right so with that done it says that the next step here is it says using B as center and radius BG draw an arc which meets AB at H so this point here so what they're saying is that this is what we should do select a circle center of the circle would be here and the end of the circle would be this one here at point G like that again let me make this um a different color there so right here we have point H so let me just copy B and bring it up to here good and let me just double click on this and change it to H there we go all right so now it says that the next thing we're going to do is to just um draw a line here that line would be line h i h i so line h i will be parallel to line b e here so i'm just going to click on line b e i'm going to select offset or i can type offset all right it says specify offset distance so this distance here this is this is um i should i don't have to use offset actually I can just use copy so I'm going to click on the line I'm going to select copy since I know the point where I want to copy to copy it from here and bring it to this point there and there you have it so don't, now I'm going to draw a line from here bring this from here down to that point and that's our completed rectangle so let me just copy this bring this up to here and this here would be I alright so that's I good so here we have, we have our rectangle let me just um arch it so that you can see it clearly so i'm going to select arch and i'm going to select a solid hatch so this would be our rectangle here all right so that right there is our rectangle all right so this rectangle here is the same it has the same area as this square right here and that is how you draw a rectangle equal in area to a square when you know the length of one side of the square and one side of the rectangle thanks for watching um i hope this video helped you please remember to subscribe for more technical drawing and autocad content please do have yourself a wonderful day